Don't often do an unboxing, but I do have a 18 volt, like an M18 Milwaukee Sawzall. Uh, so it's the second gen one. So just about to open it up, uh, about to test it out actually. Get to cut some wood with it. So I'm not cutting anything too drastic, just some cladding actually, and a bit of thin ply. But uh, once I screw it up onto, um, what we call it, probably more of a trellis really, that I've just put in the garden to stop, I'm using some ply on the back of it to stop the wind hitting the, the tree. So um, it's gonna be all uneven at the top with different lengths of scrap sheeting that I've got lying around at the moment. But yeah, so I'll use this to then make it nice and even across the top. Let's open it up. Definitely got some weight to it, that's for sure. Um, feels good, looks good. Came out, had a couple of blades in there. Now I just bought the skin, I didn't get a battery with it. I actually bought a battery separate um, because I already had a five amp battery and a two amp hour battery. So I've actually bought a six amp hour battery for this one. Um, one of the new, the new version batteries with a bit more grunt behind it. I did actually buy this tool specifically for this job. So it's a Milwaukee Sawzall. It is the M18 CSX2. So I'm going through these 4x4s here. Look, these 4x4s have been out in the weather well, over 17 years. And look, it went through so easy. Like super, super easy. This thing's got so much grunt. Now one of the challenges I had working at sort of that chest height, shoulder height, was having the extra size battery, it started to drag the drag the weight down as I got tied. And what that did was start to tilt the blade. Um, and so look, that's really more a user error as opposed to a, I guess a complaint about the tool because you know we have a big battery because you want more grant and want it to last longer. Um, but look, the th thing just had sheer power, which is exactly why I bought it to get through that type of work. Now here you see me cutting through a wall. This isn't your normal drywall. This is actually an old plaster wall. It still has horse hair in it, that's how old it is. And it looks like, you know, you can see I'm actually taking my time, being a bit careful with it, and that's because on the other side of that is a really, really big mirror that I didn't want to shatter and have glass going everywhere. So what I did then, I just take it easy cutting through the framing. I'm not really necessarily cutting through the wood here, I'm cutting through the old nails that have been there for probably 50, 60 plus years. Um, so just wanted to make sure I was being careful with it. Um, and also it's a brace wall, so you know, that's another story for another day, another video when you, you know, cut some plaster off a wall to find that the wall that you want to go through is actually a brace wall and how you work around that. But look, as far as the tool goes as a demolition tool, it is fantastic. Uh, completely rate it, really glad I bought it. Um, look, I've used it in numerous jobs, like, like you said, like you saw first up cutting the, the balustrade off the back, the railing off, and then going through this old framing. Um, and cutting through the wall exactly what I got it for and it's been perfect uh, for each of those jobs I've never had any fault with it at all so overall highly happy with it and would uh, quickly recommend it to anybody so that's the Milwaukee M18 battery packed Sawzall look do I like it actually I love it it's great you can never have a tool with too much grunt, can you? Uh, look, it's been fantastic. And as you saw in the video, I bought it physically for at least the first job, which was about uh, cutting off the balustrade off the back deck. And now the reason for that is that the original quote I got to have that take that just that piece taken off was about $1,500. Now for less than half of that, I was able to buy the tool and actually also the, the suction cups for the glass to remove the glass um, and do it myself. So. Not only did I get to save money, but I also now have tools that will last me a lifetime if I look after them. And so that's one of the things that I do look at, especially being self-reliant, is that can I do things cheaper, but also can I set myself up to increase my toolkit so I can do things further on down the track so I don't have to just keep buying more and more stuff. Um, so, you know, you buy once and it lasts forever, which is, which is the intent with buying a quality tool like the Milwaukee um, so yeah, no, very, very happy. I've used it, I won't say look, I use it a lot because it's probably more of a demolition tool to be honest. Um, and look, it's probably got far more uses than that, but that's what I've used it for at the moment. So obviously I've used it for cutting off the balustrade at the back. You saw me cutting a hole through a wall as well. 
um, which is another video coming up, how to put a door into a um, wall. But look, overall, look, the thing's just got so much grunt. Um, the only problem is, is probably the user. So you saw I bent a blade because I didn't get the angle of it right, but definitely got a lot of grunt. Look, they can be a little bit heavy, but you know, I think that comes with having just a chunky motor, but I think all the other top of sawzalls are, are in a similar category. Um, but look, I, yeah, definitely rate it. Um, look, I'd be giving it a 10 out of 10. Look, it's just a fantastic tool and it looks like it'll keep going forever. So if you enjoyed that, please give us a big thumbs up. Uh, share it with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to hear your comments below and what, what do you think of you know, the particular tools that you've been buying for, for the jobs around your property. Until next time, I'll see you then.